Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have x minus 9 whole cubed equals to 729 and we solve this problem for the values of x. So here first you see that uh, this is the cubic equation or it means that this equation has highest power 3. It means that this equation has uh, three roots okay so now in this problem we will find all the three roots of this equation okay so first we need to focus uh, in the right hand side and you see here this is 729 and now here first we need to uh, find the factors of this 729 so we will find the factors uh, of 729 in this division method so when you divide it by 9 so you get here 9 8 is a 72 and 9 1 is a 9 and now again we divide it by 9 and you get 9 9 is a 81 and we again divide it by 9 and you get 9 1 is a 9 yeah it means that we will write here 729 equals to 9 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 9 or in other words we say that 729 equals to 9 cubed so now we will replace this 729 equals to 9 cubed uh, so that our uh, above equation is written as in this form this is x minus 9 cubed equals to we replace this value here and it will become 9 cubed and now here further uh, we move this 9 cube in the left hand side and we write it as x minus 9 cubed minus this is 9 cubed and this whole equals to 0. So further here we need the nice cubic formula you know about this formula if we have a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square so according to uh, this cubic formula uh, we write our above cubic equation as here uh, in this equation uh, our a is x minus 9 and our b is 9 only so we substitute a equals to x minus 9 and b equals to 9 in the right hand side of this formula so after substituting these two values here we will get First you have a minus b, the value of a is x minus 9 minus b, the value of b is 9 into this is a square, so uh, here our a is x minus 9 whole square plus a b, so again we put the value of a is x minus 9 and the value of b is 9 plus b square, b is 9 square and this whole equation equals to zero so further in the next step we need more simplifications here and we write it as x minus minus 9 minus 9 equals to minus 18 and here we will apply the square identity and you very well know about this identity uh, if we have a minus b whole square it is equals to a square minus 2 times of a b plus b square we will apply this square identity on this term only so after applying this formula we write over this term as in this form so here you have this is x minus 9 square a over a is x and b is 9 so we write it as x square minus 2 times of uh, x into 9 plus 9 square and here we multiply this 9 on both of these terms and it will be written as plus 9x minus 9 9 is 81 and here 9 square equals to also 81 and this whole equation equals to 0. So further in the next step we need more simplifications and we write uh, this term as yeah, so here this is x minus 18 into here we can add or subtract the like terms so that when you add or subtract the like terms we write it as x square minus this is 9 to the 18x and this 9 square equals to plus 81 and this is our plus 9x this plus and minus term are cancelled by each other 
and this whole is equals to zero so further we write uh, this equation as x minus 18 into here we rearrange the terms so x square minus 18x plus 9x equals to minus 9x this is plus 81 equals to 0 so now we uh, divide this equation into the two cases so that our first case is we take x minus 18 equals to 0 and the second case is we take x square minus 9x plus 81 equals to 0 so from first case we easily get the value of x equals to 18 this is the our first root of the given equation and this root is a real root so now in order to find the other roots we need to solve uh, this uh, quadratic equation so that first we uh, write the quadratic uh, uh, first we write the coefficients of this quadratic equation uh, and then we will apply the quadratic formula okay so the coefficients of this equation are a is equals to 1 b equals to minus 9 and c equals to 81 and quadratic formula is stated as x equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a and here we substitute the values of a b and c so this will be written as x is equals to minus b the value of b is minus 9 so this is minus times of minus becomes plus 9 and plus minus square root of b square b is minus 9 and minus 9 square equals to 81 minus 4 times of a c a is 1 and c is 81 and here uh, we will multiply 81 times of 4 and it is equals to 324 and it is divided by 2 so here uh, when you subtract uh, 384 by uh, 81 we will write it as x is equals to 9 plus minus 81 minus 340 uh, 323 equals to 243 and it is divided by 2 and now here we need more simplifications so that here first we rewrite this uh, radical term as in this form this is 9 plus minus we write this 243 as uh, 81 multiplied by 3 and it is divided by 2 so further we need to uh, break this uh, square root sign and it will be written as 9 plus minus square root of 81 into square root of 3 but here we have little mistake this is 81 minus 243 it will be written as minus 243 okay so here we can write the square root on minus 1 separately so further uh, we know that the square root of minus 1 equals to iota and here uh, we write this term as in this form x is equals to 9 plus minus 81 square root equals to 9 into square root of 3 divided by 2 into iota these are the other two complex roots of the given equation and this is the final answer thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos